evidence of that. And then second question, what did you think of the venue? Um, in terms of the competition, I think, you know, I think sort of depending on what's on at stake, you know, if it's Champions League's positions, if there's other things. I think now that the leagues are, I think they're closing and getting much closer, and I think there's a lot of respect between the two leagues and the clubs now that exist in both leagues. And, uh, and so, therefore, I, I see uh, the competition being taken serious. I think, uh, I think all of us in our league, we, at this point, as our rosters start to grow and we're getting more depth and more things in our league are growing, then we have the capacity to, to still rotate players and find ways to put really good teams on the field, right? That helps us. And so I, I do think the, the league, uh, this league starting up next year, um, is good timing. I think everybody looks forward to that opportunity. And uh, like I said, if, if there's an opportunity at the end of it that you're playing for, that's always a, a positive thing for players and for, for clubs to, to shoot for. As far as the stadium, the venue, it's, it's incredible. It's beautiful. I haven't been able to obviously walk around and, uh, and take it all in, but from the field perspective, just uh, I feel like I'm in a small city or something. Like It's, uh, it's an incredible uh, structure. Uh, and I love the the stands basically go straight up, so everybody's right over the top of the field. So it's impressive. You know, I, I uh, it was it was nice. At some point, I'd like to take it in as a fan and really kind of be able to see the different parts of it. So beautiful facility. Yeah. Scott, go ahead. Hey, Greg, I got two questions for you. First off, just want to get your thoughts on the four young guys you got in the game today: uh, Saldana and Perez, especially, but also Judd and Neil. Uh, I thought all of them did an excellent job. I think, um, you know, individually, starting in the back with Jalen, I thought he's a kid we're really high on. He's mature beyond his years, very calm, uh, very good on the ball. Uh, you saw that, I think, today. It's not the easiest field sometimes to play on when the turf has just been, or the grass has just been laid, and you could see it was bumpy and a little slow. And But he played in front of 60,000, 50,000. He played with calm and confidence and played out of the back. and took some balls under pressure. He did his defensive work. I think there was maybe one clearance that he didn't get quite right, but um, the kid has a lot of composure. He's got a lot of ability, and uh, he's going to have a big future. So I was, I was happy with him. You know, Adam, this is Adam coming back from a nasty injury in the offseason. He's getting, his, getting himself fit. I mean, this was – he played 60 minutes on the weekend, which is the most he had played so far with uh, G2. So this was the second most that he had played so far. And – uh, again, I think he showed the composure in the midfield to be able to get us out of pressure sometimes, to take balls and keep the game flowing quickly. Um, and again, defensively, I thought he put himself around the field in a, in a positive way. So I thought he, he did a nice job. Um, Preston came in and, and right from the, the jump in the second half just showed his physical presence, you know, being able to take balls down, hold balls up, but also his his directness to goal. and. Uh, his running and, and even speed off the ball, I thought he was dangerous from the second the second whistle, second half whistle blew. Uh, and so, and then, you know, there's parts of the second half where we end up controlled. We had the lead, so we end up defending in little stretches so we don't get to see quite as much. He doesn't have the same support that he had at times, but I thought his his uh, his effort and, and also just the qualities that he had came through. You see that he's a like a traditional big striker that was, uh, which is interesting for sure. Uh, and Johnny obviously steals the show with uh, with a great goal. The kid is the kid's a special player. Um, we just keep uh, keep bringing him along, and he's going to be a, another great player for us. But he can go left, he can go right. He hits the ball with right foot and left foot equally well. He he's a great finisher. Uh, he can scoot by people. He's faster than I think anybody really anticipates, and so. Uh, he's slippery and and he's by you before you really kind of expect it because he has he looks sometimes he looks a little bit uh, like he's a young little kid and then he accelerates and you realize wow this kid can really move so uh, but he he's talented like I said he can play right side he can play left side he can finish both directions he can dribble in both directions but I thought again he also showed some composure tonight and and played himself out of some difficult situations and um, but all four of them were guys we're really high on and it's nice to have them and this is a great opportunity in front of. Yeah a big crowd and a big environment to allow them to to take that all in without maybe all of the pressure of the environment, but they still get to do it in this environment, which is wonderful, which was something I was looking forward to. Actually, one of the things I was looking most forward to was to see those guys play tonight, really, to be honest. So. And secondly, just uh, what can you tell us about Push and uh, Ravellis and going to Hosser? Yeah, I mean, there's a process that's underway. Nothing is totally finalized yet, but uh, you know, we'll see where things play out, hopefully, tomorrow. Hey, Greg, as you, as you look forward to 
the tournament expanding next year. What is the next step MLS has to take to make sure that you know one of the, one of the, one of the teams actually wins the tournament? Well, I think you know I, I think our, all of our clubs are coming along. I think the you know as the league has grown, the identity of each club is sort of is starting to really form. Um, there's clubs that are really shooting to try to win events like this and to win Champions League, and there's others who are maybe developing younger players. And I, I feel like our league has evolved so much even over the last five to, to eight years. Uh, and so, you know, with with uh, money that's being invested in the TAM and now the youth fund, I think teams are getting deeper. They're getting – their rosters are getting more full, so you can manage sometimes two competitions a little bit better than maybe teams could in the past. Uh, so there, there will be teams that are in it to win it, and there will be teams where this isn't the most important thing for them in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a season. Uh, but I think that's for for clubs to figure out. But I think, uh, but I think the event is going to be very competitive, and I think uh, the league, both leagues, will benefit from the competition, and, and I think players will benefit from the competition as well. We're going with our last question. Hey, Greg, um, yes. did you find this as somewhat of a distraction in terms of the league and and what you're trying to achieve in MLS, or did you, f in the end, does it feel like it's a good exercise? that you've learned something today that will help you as you go into the final act of the season? Yeah, our, our, what I would say is the, in a way, the preparation was, um, if I'm being honest, it was, I would say, a nuisance for bad timing just because of everything. But what we stepped aside and stepped back and said, this is a great opportunity to go out and enjoy ourselves a little bit again and not feel the stress of having to get a result, but just playing and performing and working through and getting a look at a lot of different guys and maybe some different partnerships and relationships on the field. So we used it as an exercise, is, um, but we also wanted to be competitive and we wanted to win because winning, no matter what you win on any given night, it feels good and it gives you an emotional boost, regardless of what the game is or the circumstances or anything. Uh, victories give you a different emotional feeling uh, as a group. And so it was important for us, but we also wanted to use it for an exercise to try to, to see some things. And uh, I was pleased with the group tonight. And um, again, hopefully we can build off of, even if this is momentum, we build off of this. So you never, never quite know how it's going to come. You just, you got to, you take it when you can. So thank you very much, coach. Okay, We're going to have Javier Hernandez come in in a few seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. We have. Javier Hernandez, we're going to start with English questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand and we'll get the microphone. We'll go right there in the corner. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's distracting, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's fine. Dan Greenspan, Associate Press. Uh, Hi. Javier, uh, did you guys know coming in you'd be limited to in swinging? For, uh, Can you repeat that, sorry? Did you know you'd be limited to in swinging corner kicks coming in? And what did you think of the service on the, oh, on the goal? goal, you mean? Yeah, it was an amazing serve. I think. Uh, we've been trying a lot of stuff, uh, set pieces in, through the last two years. You know, sometimes we like to play short, and sometimes we try plays and we try to to hurt uh, other teams like that. And I think sometimes it works like simple things. If you can, if you want to talk today, it worked because it was an amazing cross. I think Efra's ball was very good because uh, he uh, he put the ball behind of the two most important guys in first post, and then they jump run. If you can see it, he just he just touched it. He didn't even like like kick it. He just touched it, but like reflected, you know. So I think it was a great goal, and it was a in a very good time for us because they had a few chances that JK saved us, and then some some other that they missed because they were playing very good. And I think that goal helped us a lot to to try to manage it as well. And they they of course become a little bit more offensive, more urgent to try to 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 score the their first goal, and hopefully, you know, thankfully, they didn't do it. And then Johnny's strike. How, yeah, how was impressive amazing. was that? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was very nice. Uh, actually, Greg and myself were talking after training yesterday, and yeah, Johnny's uh, come to the conversation about uh, that. Yeah, how how good talent in U.S. in general. They're they're they're, they're start like like be like yeah like starting in, in in every team. You know, a lot of youth, and it comes of the work that this league has been doing with a lot of of effort and investment in the in the young people you know you see how many americans are playing in europe right now how many players come to this league play a few years just to say that and then they go to europe so i think yeah johnny's a an amazing talent um, he has so much uh, potential to become 
uh, whatever he wants to become. And that's the nice thing of, of everyone, you know, that everyone has uh, that opportunity. It's about themselves. And in, for example, in my perspective and in my position, I'm gonna try to help him and help any teammate to try to, to elevate his position in a certain way, you know? But of course, I think Johnny knows that as well. He has his own uh, objectives and goals, but the most important one is he wants to give his best on the benefit of the team so we can qualify to, uh, to playoffs and then try to fight for a championship. Right in front. Hi, Chich. Uh, Hi. Ivor, Ivan Yo, Prost America. Uh, the crowd at, for your game, it looked like it was tilted more towards your guys' side. Did you, did you happen to notice that? or? Yeah, I mean, I, it's difficult to honestly decide like who we're supporting because, of course, there's we are in LA, we have a lot of supporters, and then, of course, Chivas has an amazing fan base, you know? So I don't know who who were supporting more. Honestly, I was just focused on the game. And you can hear that even in the lineups and stuff that there were a lot of Chivas. You can see even in the colors, you know, some red and white and some only plain uh, white, you know. So, but the most important uh, thing for, for Chivas and for, for our uh, side, it was that, yeah, the atmosphere was amazing, you know, with a lot of, of people in this stadium, in this amazing stadium, regardless of the conditions of the pitch and of the field, it could be better. But of course, we know that it's an NFL stadium with a uh, turf and they try to do the, the best as possible. And I think if we can find some places where the, where the, where the field it's even better, you're going to see better uh, like quality and better things about it in every player and as well results and stuff. But I think it was an amazing game for us. And of course, we, we, we got the, the win that it was the most important part. Yeah. Yeah. Javier, I just asked uh, Sorry, uh, great. Hi, how are hi. you? Um, good, thank you. Good win. Um, I just asked uh, Coach Vanny about this maybe being a distraction versus the mission in MLS, but his answer was that winning is a good thing and it breeds confidence. How do you feel about you know playing in this yeah. atmosphere and also what it means for the team going into the yeah. last you know final act of, yeah. of the season? I think. Uh, it's about perspective and like life, you know, anything could be like a storm or anything could be a great opportunity. You know, it's the way that you want to see it. And I think uh, in the same way as, as Greg, that it was a very good opportunity and we want to take it like that. You know, it's like you're playing in front of like, I don't know, 65,000 uh, fans just, just to put a number. I don't know if I'm accurate in that number. And then in this, the, the first uh, soccer game in this stadium, what it means, and then against Chivas in a Wednesday to prepare a match. So of course we wanted to take it in a very positive way. And I think we did it and, and, and thankfully, and then we did a, a part of the good effort, we, we won. You know, that, that, that's the most important thing. You can get a lot of confidence and a lot of players have time, you know, to play, to have chances to develop, to measure themselves with, with, with a very important uh, uh, La Liga, team like, like it is Chivas. So for us, it's very positive, you know, every positive. And then, of course, like it's life. If we go against Kansas City and then we lost, you guys are going to say that it was a distraction. And if we go there and we won, you guys are going to say that it was an amazing, like, lift up, you know? So it's part of this. It's part of this. It's about perspective. So the most important thing is how we manage it internally to, yeah, to transform it in a very positive, like, outcomes. On the, um, the atmosphere itself, um, coming in here to a game, with so many fans here, how did you approach this game? Uh, well, obviously, like since since I got to the stadium, um, I already knew from the beginning that there's going to be a lot of a lot of fans. You know, the atmosphere is going to be like really it's going to be amazing. And but my main focus is just on the game, you know, how I was going to perform and help my team. Uh, break down your goal. How did you see the play sort of develop, and what were you thinking when you the ball sort of? Um, when you, well, when you got the ball we, we won the ball in, in the middle third of the field, and then um, I just saw Sam win the ball, and then I moved into a space where I think I was in a really good spot, and then he played me, and then I turned around to see if the defender was behind me, and once I, I realized that he was in nowhere near me, I was able to turn, take a good touch, and then um, I knew I was like the attacking third, and I was able to shoot, and, and yeah, then I just took the shot, and uh, thankfully it went in. A lot of a lot of family members are Chivas fans. Uh, yeah, are my. Did you disappointed them or? Um, well, today. <laughs> well, I'll find out when I get home. <laughs> you ever check your cell phone yet? Uh, no, not yet. Well, what's the season been like for you? You've been with G2 mostly. Uh, well, at the beginning of the season, I've been with the first team. Uh, yeah. I've been been rostered uh, mainly every game. Uh, but just recently, I came back down with the second team just to get minutes because I haven't played. Uh, 
long time, so I'm so just trying to keep my rhythm and get some minutes in. How are you going to approach the final half of the season? Uh, well, uh, I'm hoping to get more minutes, you know, and uh, just you know, hopefully the coaching staff and, and Greg uh, can continue to give me, a, well, give me a, uh, an opportunity to, to play. So. All right. First of all, I mean, the atmosphere itself. I mean, what, what was it like stadium-wise? And... I mean, it was it was amazing. I, I, this was my first time here at SoFi. Um, and just walking out to the field without any fans was awesome. Uh, and then obviously when you go out to warm up and the fans start coming in and, you know, it gets louder and louder, you just get more and more excited. Um, and, you know, the whole whole second half, I was having a, I was having a good time, you know, and, um, yeah, it was, it was amazing. It was fantastic. They put you guys under pressure a little bit in the first half, and you came up with some big saves. How, 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 how would you rate your game today? Um, I thought I did okay, and I think I think the whole team, you know, came in and, and everyone played limited minutes and, and everyone played a good good match and we were just kind of here and we wanted to win the game and and we, we did that and you know we all did our jobs and, and we walked away with the with the win every every positive can lead to something more how do you guys go about doing that yeah I think we just have to look at our game today um, pretty much and, and see what worked and see what didn't and, and move from that um, and take it and, and learn from it and uh, bring it to Kansas um, and uh, yeah use it and and hopefully we can get three points away too. You got a lot of young guys in front of you, Johnny, Adam, Jalen. How did you see how they sort of handled everything? Oh, we're, we're totally confident in the young guys. I mean, you saw Johnny today. You know, he has no problem. Uh, Jalen has no problem. None of these guys have any problem stepping onto the field um, and performing. Uh, I thought Preston did a really good job too. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, when they come on the field, it's, you know, we, we know they'll do their job and we're confident in them. So.